the DNA within your cells defines who you are. This genetic code contains 20,000 genes that are translated into proteins that make up your cells. After the human genome was characterized, the next step is to identify all proteins our genes are coding for, and ultimately to understand their function and connection to disease. The Human Protein Atlas is a Swedish research project aiming to perform this task. In total, over a thousand man years of work is spent so far to generate over 13 million images showing the spatial distribution of proteins. These images are presented in a publicly available database used by thousands of researchers. This seemingly massive undertaking pales in comparison to the over 300,000 man-years the world spends each week gaming. In EVE Online, you will be helping us at the Subcellular Protein Atlas to understand protein function by recognizing patterns of protein localization within colorful fluorescent microscopy images where specific proteins have been marked with fluorescent labels called antibodies. These images are extremely rich in information. And we now hope that the gaming community can help us to harvest this information and turn it into biological measures available to researchers all over the world. The human body consists of 100 billion cells, and all cells in the same individual carry identical DNA. So what is it that makes the cell so different, that some cells form the skin barrier and others are involved in signaling in the brain? It is the proteins. Proteins are the essential building blocks of every living cell, and it is the proteins that maintain life and make us who we are. There are around 20,000 different proteins in the human body, and the aim of the Human Protein Atlas is to create a map where in different cells and organs these different proteins can be identified. The results are displayed on the Human Protein Atlas, an online portal divided into four different sub-atlases, the Tissue Atlas, the Subcellular Atlas, the Cell Line Atlas and the Cancer Atlas. Hi, my name is Cecilia Lindskog and I'm a researcher at Uppsala University in Sweden. I'm a site director of the tissue as well as the cancer atlas, which contains samples from 44 different normal organs as well as the 20 most common types of cancer. This image is a 1mm sample from human pancreas, containing several thousands of cells stained in blue. The cells colored in brown are cells producing insulin. These are the cells that are not working properly in individuals with diabetes. Hi, my name is Anna Asplund and I'm a researcher at Uppsala University in Sweden. I'm heading the cell line atlas, which includes protein data in 44 different cell lines. Cell lines are commonly used as model systems for primarily cancer research. This is an example image of a lung cancer cell line, used in lung cancer research. The antibody detects the protein emerine, which is localized in the nuclear membrane. This is evident as brown color lining the blue nucleus. Protein localization within the cell is manually analyzed, and the cell line atlas contains nearly 500,000 images, and this number is continuously increasing. The Human Protein Atlas contains more than 13 million images and manual analysis of the enormous amount of data remains the bottleneck. More detailed description of the proteins would benefit both basic and clinical research. The more help we can get from the community, the sooner we would reach a complete map of all human proteins.